So there's a lot more to Office 365 than just Exchange. And one of the tools in it is SharePoint. If you're not familiar with SharePoint, we're just going to take a couple of minutes and introduce you to Microsoft SharePoint. So I'm logged into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and I'm going to click my little... Well, I did click my little uh, selector and go to Admin. And then under Admin, I'm going to go to Show All... I'm going to find the Admin Center for SharePoint. And let's scroll down. And here is SharePoint. OK, SharePoint Admin. Now, SharePoint, we've actually been doing things with a behind the scenes as we've been working on this. We just haven't really paid any attention or seen anything related to it. And the idea of SharePoint is we'll use SharePoint to create basically collaboration space or portals. So it starts out here showing our SharePoint admin or showing our dashboard basically SharePoint activity, SharePoint site usage report, message center. <clears throat> okay. The individual sites are going to be here. I want to look at active sites. And remember, I haven't done anything with this yet, but I have several of these already created. So I've got an all company site, a communication site, a sales site, a YVC Bassett site. So all of these are just different groups I've created. And Office 365 in the background has created a SharePoint site for it. So I'm going to go to the sales site. And I'm just going to click right here. This gives me my sales URL. I can edit the name, edit the URL. I'm going to click on the URL and let's take a look at what's actually included here. So this is the SharePoint site for the sales group. And I made a sales group earlier in Azure Active Directory and it created this site for me. So here are the basic things we have. Home, conversations, documents, notebook, pages, site contents, recycle bin. And then we can edit what we see here. So on my home page, it's going to give me any news. It's going to give me any quick links, any recent documents. It's going to show me any recent activity, which there really isn't. Whether it's published or not, I can edit it. I can add new members. I can choose whether I'm following or not following. But this just gives you a quick overview. If you click on Conversations, I'm going to go ahead and do it. <clears throat> conversations is going to take you to Outlook. And I'm going to have to use another account here to access this. Choose my one that I've been doing this account with, or doing these demo videos with, and log in here real quick. So this is going to be, once I approve my sign-in request, because I'm an administrator, this is going to be basically the shared mailbox for that particular group. So I'm approving my sign-in on my mobile device here. And once that gets approved, we should be able to see it. And so here I am in Outlook, and this is my group mailbox. Now, if you have, here we go, sales, public group, really nothing in here other than the, hey, this is a sales group. If you have a, another account, or a, your base account, so you're in your base Outlook account, and you want to view the groups that you're in, you can scroll down to your groups and you'll see right here I am in my sales group. And if I was part of more than one group with dedicated sites, and this is where you're seeing kind of the integration here between SharePoint and um, Exchange, then I would see those additional groups down here as well. Okay, back to my SharePoint site. Close this. So conversations takes you to the group mailbox. Documents is going to show you all of the documents that are associated with this particular SharePoint portal. So I can upload new documents, create new documents, look at them in a grid view, add shortcuts to OneDrive. I also have a notebook that is shared amongst all of the members of this site and they would come to this SharePoint site to access the sales notebook. And here you can see we can add new sections to our sales notebook.
So we have a shared notebook. We have shared documents. We have pages that are shared, so we can create additional uh, pages to work with. And we have basic site contents. So documents, form templates, site assets, style library, site pages. So let me go back home, and I want to show you another element here. And I'm going to click on New. And here we can create a new list that can be shared with everyone on this portal. A new document library, a new page, a new post, a new news link, a new plan, or a new app. I'm going to click on list just to give you a real quick overview here. So I can create a blank list. I can take something from Excel from an existing list. I also have all of these templates. Issue tracker, recruitment tracker, travel request, employee onboarding. All right, you get the idea. So... All of this, anything that I create here is going to be stored on the SharePoint site and anybody who is part of the SharePoint site has access to it. Now one of the benefits of SharePoint, because it's a web-based technology, everyone has access to it. It's not stored on anyone's local computer, so we don't have those limitations. It's cloud-based. Everyone can get to it. We can also take and share things from SharePoint with other people in the organization or other people outside the organization. Now, this is a great usability function. It also, however, creates some security issues. So those are some things that we're going to want to take a look at here in my the next video when we're talking about configuring SharePoint a little bit. So this is just to give you an idea of some of what's available in SharePoint. Remember, you create the SharePoint site, and you can create new sites for it. Let's actually go back to that. Let's go back to our SharePoint Admin Center. And to create a new site, we'll just hit the Create here. And we get to define whether this is a team site, share documents, have conversations, keep track of events, manage tasks, and more, or a communication site, publish, I love that, dynamic, beautiful content to people in your organization to keep them informed. So collaboration information, basically. So you pick the type of site that you want. Let's go ahead and do a team site. Just set the name, the group owner, the language, and then we'll deal with some of the advanced settings a little bit later on. And then you'll add people to the site, and then anyone who's part of that site can contribute to that team collaboration. Okay, that gives you a brief idea, hopefully, of what SharePoint is about. Now, in the next video, we're going to look at some security options and settings for configuring and managing SharePoint.